the coming capture of Jerusalem. An interpretation of the Holy Bible. The city of Jerusalem has been captured at least 22 times in history, and is soon to be captured again. Five of those calamities were predicted by biblical prophets. Between 1550 and 1400 BCE, Jerusalem became a vassal to Egypt. After the 12th century BCE, Jerusalem was occupied by Canaanites. About 1000 BCE, King David took the city, calling it the city of David. In 586 BCE, Nebuchadnezzar and the Babylonians conquered Judah and Jerusalem. As predicted by Isaiah 39, 1 through 8. In 198 BCE, the Seleucid Antiochus III took Jerusalem and Judea from Ptolemy the Epiphanes as Daniel 11, 30 and 31 had predicted. In 63 BCE, the Roman Pompey the Great captured Jerusalem and the Hasmonean throne. In 6 CE, Judea came under direct Roman rule as the Judea province. In 63 CE, the Romans undertook to completely destroy Jerusalem, as predicted by Daniel 9:26, and by Jesus, Luke 21:24. In 135, the Romans suppressed the Second Jewish Revolt, renaming the city Ilia Capitolina. In 614, the Sassanids captured Jerusalem, slaughtering tens of thousands of Christians. In 629, the Byzantine Emperor Heraclius reconquered Jerusalem. In 638, the Arab armies of Amar ibn al-Khattab retook Jerusalem. In 1073, Jerusalem was captured by the Seljukid commander at Z. In 1099, Jerusalem was conquered by Crusaders. In 1187, Saladin wrested the city from the Crusaders, after a 21-day siege. In 1229, Jerusalem peacefully reverted to the crusading Holy Roman Emperor Frederick II. In 1244, Jerusalem was sacked by the Kazmayan Tatars. In 1247, the Tatars were driven out by the Ayyubids. In 1517, Jerusalem and environs fell to the Ottoman Turks. In 1917, the British Army, led by General Edmund Allenby, captured the city. In 1948, Israeli and Arab forces divided the city. In 1967, Jordan attacked Israel, which, in turn, captured the entirety of Jerusalem. In the end times, Judah will be invaded by ten nations, and Jerusalem will be captured. Behold, a day is coming to the Lord, when the spoil taken from you will be divided in your midst. For I will gather all the nations against Jerusalem to battle, and the city shall be taken, and the houses plundered. Half of the city shall go out into exile, but the rest of the people shall not be cut off from the city. It is given over to the nations, and they will trample the holy city for forty-two months. After the one thousand year reign of Messiah Jesus, Gog of Magog will attack Judea and Jerusalem as the last human revolt against God, forever. When the thousand years are ended, Satan will be released from his prison and will come out to deceive the nations that are at the four corners of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them for battle, their number is like the sand of the sea, and they marched up over the broad plain of the earth and surrounded the camp of the saints and the beloved city, but fire came down from heaven and consumed them. After many days you will be mustered. In the latter years you will go against the land that is restored from war, the land whose people were gathered from many peoples upon the mountains of Israel. Then Messiah Jesus will return to rescue Jerusalem. Then Yahweh will go out and fight against those nations as when he fights on a day of battle. On that day his feet shall stand on the Mount of Olives that lies before Jerusalem, on the east. Finally, a new Jerusalem will descend from heaven, an eternal dwelling place for God and humans. Behold, I create new heavens and a new earth and the former things shall not be remembered or come into mind. But be glad and rejoice forever in that which I create, for behold, I create Jerusalem to be a joy, 
and her people to be a gladness. I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband, and I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, the dwelling place of God is with man, he will dwell with them, and they will be his people, and God himself will be with them as their God.